or C-45, Chris, tell them what they were used for. Okay, the, uh, the BJT and its variants of the different branches were used as light transports, they were used as multi-engine trainers, and they were also used as navigation trainers. You have to remember that World War II, there was no uh, satellite-type navigation. There was no good long-range radio navigation. Instead, they taught the crews to navigate by the sun and the stars with a sextant and a clock, just like they've been doing for hundreds of years aboard ships. And the BJ-18 had three desks across one side of its fuselage. On the other side was a chair that could slide up and down the cabin. And the instructor would sit there. Or the uh, trainees would sit at their desks. And there was an astrodome on the roof of the airplane where they could take a sun sight or a, uh, a, a star shoot and uh, compute where they were by triangulation uh, and charts that knew where the heavenly bodies were any given time, any given day. Now, that seems pretty archaic. And for many years, it went away. Uh, they did that training in Randolph until the 1970s where they quit doing celestial navigation. Well, what's interesting today is that they have gone back to teaching celestial navigation because we all know the disruption that can happen when we lose our computers and our electronics. So they want to be prepared to be able to complete the mission independently in navigation, navigating the old fashioned way. It's called a T-34, built by Beechcraft. And the T-34, or variants thereof, were used, well, just until the last 10 or 20 years, right? Yeah, I think they flew the uh, pistol version for 10 to 15 years and then switched to the turbo prop, a jet engine turning the propeller, for another 25 years. And it's based off of the vulnerable uh, beach bonanza platform, an aircraft that is still being manufactured today. Engineer that retired a couple of years. 